You have to, to park the fact that it's your old team this weekend when, when you do get out there, and, and do you think that will be easy enough to do? Like, like I said, I'm just taking it day by day. Um, I've played this game in my head a few times in COVID, during COVID, so I know that I just want to enjoy each each day this week and trust my prep. Um, but undoubtedly, there'll be some cheeky comments. Um, yeah, there'll be all sorts out there. Yeah, definitely from Colsey, yeah, <laughs> in particular. Oh, it wouldn't be TJ without a few cheeky comments. Geordie? Uh, Geordie probably won't be playing. <laughs> But your boss is talking about maybe a crowd of 35,000. Um, what kind of boost has Dan Carter coming into the Blues given you personally? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's immense. It, it seems like yesterday in 2015 we were rubbing shoulders and um, yeah, the first day back at training has given me feedback which was, which was so good to hear. Um, just on the go, that little feedback that makes you a better person. Um, yeah, rather than waiting to hear it from a coach a few days later, it's just instant. So uh, the boost that he's given to the team, um, and personally, it's been huge. What was your reaction to hearing the news that he'd come on board? Oh, stoked. Like, I knew that he was around. Um, he knew that he still could play, but obviously didn't want to travel because of his family situation, which I respect so much, and, you know, it's great that... He's given this um, an opportunity and um, he's going to give so much on and off the field. Have you spoken about, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a role reversal during your time playing together with the All Blacks. <clears throat> he started and you were quite often off the bench. It's going to be a bit of a slot this time around. Have you oh, picked up on that? Look, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge. So, um, as I said, this comp could be a um, a battle of you know survival when you know, injuries could come into play. So uh, we're definitely going to need DC at some point. Well, you mentioned um, you played this game in your head during COVID against your old team. How did that play out? Oh, look, it was well before COVID. Because um, I get asked about it all the time. Um, it's more those interpersonal sort of battles that potentially may pop up. So I'm just preparing myself for that so that as it happens, I know, yep, to take that off of my head, I've, it's no surprise. Because I know it's coming. <laughs> Which ones in particular? Are you, are you referring to those in person battles? Oh, those names you mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Is there going to be any communication with those guys this week, or has there been already? Um, probably. Yeah, because there's a fair bit floating around on social media, and um, you know, you media poke and prod to get little snippets here and there, so it's, it's all good fun. Well, I don't know, now that crowds are allowed back in stadiums, are you expecting your family to be up for this, and how do you think that's going to go if you enjoy it? Yes, uh, I think Dad's coming up for it, um, but it is fantastic that uh, the crowd numbers will be hopefully up in you know the thirty odd thousands. Uh, that that will be amazing. So, um, yeah, I mean I'm not too sure if many more family will come, but um, I'm leaving that to my wife to sort out. Gosh, that's a good question. You might have to ring him up and ask. <laughs> Um, just back to DC, have you sort of given him a hard time about him coming back and stealing your thunder away from your um, Bronco test? Um, has he run one, has he? I don't know, but his whole presence is taken away from mine. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I was happy that, I was sick of hearing about that Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously the return of DC, it's, it's huge, it's so good for the game of rugby and at his age to still play in this competitive competition, um, it's something we can all aim for and strive for, so I haven't told him that we've got a young first five in our team that's half his age, that's, um, <laughs> but I've told Zahn, he's pretty, yeah, he's buzzing about that. <laughs>